All right, guys, so let's dive deep into this topic that I don't think people have really touched on too much. And this is the fact that your sexual energy is a direct indicator of your potential. And what I mean potential, I mean potential energy that you could output. So basically, I'm saying all you lustful dudes who cannot close your laptop for the life of you or close those 37 different porn tabs on your phone for the life of you. I'm saying you have just unbelievable potential in this world, man. Now, why would I say that? Am I saying that just to gas you guys up or am I saying that for a purpose? I'm saying that for a purpose because you have to understand something. It all starts with sexual energy, guys. You yourself, look in the mirror right now. You are a physical manifestation of sexual energy. The energy your parents cultivated when they got together. So, therefore, everything that's happened in your life, that you've done in your life, all started from that simple interaction with sexual energy. So, yes, sexual energy is the most potent form of energy there is in the universe and on this planet. Yes. Yes, you have to understand something. We are receivers. We take in frequencies. We release frequencies. So all you guys that are choosing to release and operate on such a low frequency when you're engaging in these toxic behaviors, these lustful behaviors, you are using your potential energy in the worst way. Now, once you learn how to redirect this energy, you can apply it to your work ethic. So think about that strong urge that a lot of you guys have trouble overcoming. You have trouble overcoming the urge to engage in these toxic behaviors. But what if you had that same urge to be great? That's what I'm saying. And you can redirect this energy and make it that way. It is possible. It can be done. It can be done. But you need to know, number one, how to channel this energy to your higher self. So when you guys feel that, that urge, all that is is a condensation of this energy compressed into your lower area. That's an indicator you're stuck in your lower self. You should be feeling this energy towards the top of your body, but a lot of people don't take the time to interpret this sexual energy they're feeling. All they interpret it as is horniness. They don't interpret it as this is my energy I can use for the day. That's the true difference. And once you understand that you have the ability to redirect this energy and use it for a positive purpose, you won't really even feel that primal urge as much, which is a good thing. Because if you feel that all the time, you're really a slave to your own self. You're really a slave to your own self. So people that tend to have the best posture, this has all been studied. You guys can look this up. People who tend to have the best posture, be the most eloquent. Um, you know, a lot of people who have a lot of positive attributes tend to be highly sexed people, which means they all tend to have really high sex drives. Now, when you have low libido, low sex drive, you tend to display negative characteristics, guys. It's because your body is losing a large part of what keeps it fueling, which is your desire to have sex. That is a driving desire between, you know, human interaction, guys. So with that desire, you can do great things because your body has the need to reproduce. It wants to. So it's going to help you on your journey to become the best version of yourself because it wants you to pass your genes on. If it didn't want you to pass your genes on, it would just let you be a lazy bum. But your body wants the best for you. It wants you to succeed. Because if you succeed, it succeeds. It succeeds and can pass on the seed. Bars. So yes, your sexual energy is a direct indicator of your potential energy that you could output into the universe. And it all starts with this energy. Now, for you guys who are just having a hard time redirecting this energy, I want you, the only thing that will really get you over that hump is just picturing the benefits and picturing, 
you know what I was gonna say something but I think that's gonna be a separate video I gotta keep that gem for a separate video but it really comes down to picturing the benefits of okay you know I'm sacrificing I'm sacrificing this immediate pleasure now that I could have at any moment for long-lasting pleasure that'll come over time it simply comes down to long-term mindset versus a short-term mindset all these things are going to coincide and better your life guys but it all starts with understanding that you can redirect this energy that urge to release and release that same energy into the world and create you don't want to be a consumer you would want to be a producer the more you produce the more you'll you'll receive because you're giving to the world and receiving you can't just be taking from the world and think that somehow the the universe is going to give you something that's not how it works and i wanted to inform you guys of that it's your boy dipsy i'm gonna catch y'all later man peace out